Dela Wright, my MVVs. Welcome. Report reaching us right now is that Olori Mariam vehemently rejected the pre-Valentine gift that Oni of Ife had gifted them. They said Oni was um, head ordering um, a designer um, um, back as in designer, uh, customized designer bags for his Olori. Olori is from Italy. So now people thought that, those who had thought that that gift was a Valentine gift, but we are hearing now that it wasn't a Valentine gift too, that Oni just ordered six customized handbags for his Oloris. And that when the handbags came, that he gifted each and every one of them their bag. And he now um, gifted Mariam one of those bags. And what we are hearing is that Mariam vehemently rejected the bags. And, you know, people are saying, what is it with Oni of Ife? They say, me, you say you want to let these women go. You say that you want a separation. You do not want any violence. Um, um, any kind of violence around you. You are tired of the women. They are giving you so much problems. You want them to go. And the same you, you're ordering customized handbag for them. They say when Oni's father confronted him over ordering customized handbag for them, he said that these women are his wives, that even though there is a separation, that their friendship, their long-standing friendship matters a lot. And he is a matured king, that the gift is a gift from his heart. And he had ordered this customized handbag before all of this event took place. We heard of the altercation between Olori Mariam and um, Olori Runke that had to do with uh, the, his um, fabric designer, how Mariam um, uh, disengaged um, um, uh, Oni's fabric designer, and how Olori got angry, how they pulled down the palace apart, how there was so much bad buzz because of this issue, and how Oni decided that there's going to be a, tra- a, a, a separation between him and Mariam for now so that he can think re- why, um, uh, well and reorganize himself that Mariam and Runke will have to go for now for the time being until he makes a decision on what he want to do. So they said that was why the father was asking that how is it possible that you are saying these women will have to go and you buying them handbag and um, uh, if I, um, it was alleged that Oni answered that as at the time he ordered this handbag this problem was not there he wanted to give all of them handbags so that they would stop shouting and dragging his names about marginalization. But unfortunately, it does seem as if no matter what the owner of Ife does, it's not going to change the way these women feel about how he treats them. And Mariam has declined. They say she vehemently rejected that handbag. She said, why will Oni of Ife be buying handbags for them when he is busy investing in billion millions of dollars for Olori Naomi. You know, right there, we are talking about the oil well investment. We are talking about the house in Port Harcourt. We are talking about the mansion in Lagos. We are talking about everything. Even though the mansion in Lagos is not for Queen Naomi, they said it's for the royal household of um, Udua people. Like the only of if owns that mansion in Lagos. But Oni said, since you have refused to move into the palace of the only of if you occupy the mansion in Lagos for now so that we see how we are able to sort out these other things so that you can return back to the palace. But Mariam is saying that she is not accepting any handbag. Oni does not show them love and let it stay that way. Now, what is a, um, ordering a customized handbag for them when he's busy investing in dollars um, uh, for Queen Naomi? So have you seen that no matter what the Oni of Ife does for these women, they will never appreciate it. As much as Queen Naomi is still in the life of the Oni of Ife, all they want, the only thing that will make them happy is for Oni to say, I don't want Naomi again. Let Naomi give me my son and let Naomi go. And that is the one thing that you see, the Oni of Ife may never ever be able to say to Queen Naomi because the truth remains that Oni's emotion keeps betraying him. He loves Queen Naomi no matter what he has done. It was even because of this love that made him to go and marry six wives. Because, of course, you could see that that marriage was a revenge marriage. And then, 
after marrying the six wives, what happened? He's still going after Queen Naomi up until now. He's not able to rise because Queen Naomi has not returned back into his life. So for anybody who is sitting down and thinking that there's something that is going to make Oni Ofife to stop loving Queen Naomi, that person is being delusional because that might never happen. So Miriam now said that the, ma the woman rejected those um, uh, own handbag while other people like Olori Elizabeth, Olori Timitokwe, they say, and Toby had to come to the palace to collect her bag. And they were all very happy, very appreciative. Even Olori Toby, they said she was very appreciative. That this would be the first time that Oni would go out of his way to order something like that. You always see Oni do, um, um, doing things like this when it comes to Queen Naomi, but Oni has never done it for them. And for the first time that they are receiving this um, in this Valentine's season, that they are very happy. That otherwise we're very we're very very happy. And you do know that only of if knows what um, a fashion is, and he knows what a woman is what, and he's got money and he's got style. So you do know that when you when when, when you heard that he was ordering customized bag for his wife, you could tell that. It's um, very good bags. Like he ordered really, really good and expensive bags for his wife. But of course, Marian shoved it down his throat. That is not worth anything. Now, what is the solution to this problem? We can never cease hearing this issue of marginalization. Do you know that these bags that Oni Ovife ordered for them now that they are not appreciative? A, appreciated. If Oni had ordered just one bag for Queen Naomi, the whole world would have heard that, ah, he bought Queen Naomi a bag and he's doing this, he's not doing for others. Um, you know, Council of Udua would have sat down to say Oni is not doing well. Oni is supposed to be doing the same for other wives. After all, he married them. If he was not comfortable with them, why did he marry them? That if he continues like this, the palace will never be in peace. Oni should learn how to treat his wives equally. That is what they are saying. But right now that he's trying, the truth about it is that if you appreciate a person for what they are trying to do, you you know, they will do even better. But this one that the man is trying to love you guys the way he needs to be loving you, you guys are busy trying to bring him down. Uh, why would he be buying back for you people when he's um, um, busy investing millions of dollars on Queen Naomi? I think most times, you guys, you fail to understand that Queen Naomi has got a son for the Oni of Ife. There is a Tadeni Kawo there. And there's nothing anybody can do because Oni of Ife needs to ensure that the son is um, okay. He needs to ensure that the son's future is secured, at least from the human point of view, and all of that. And if you people keep, you know, attacking him for investing in his son, of course, everybody will be wondering, what is wrong with you people? He, he shouldn't invest on his son, he should come and invest on you. But we are here, you know, that Mariam said all sorts of things about the customized handbag. Handbag is not her problem. She can buy as many handbags as she would want. And uh, uh, and they said Oni felt really, really bad. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.